All right. Okay. Brother, if you just turn the machine off, turn it back on real quick. We're going to go ahead and get started. Getting started late. What a way to start the year, right? Hey, man. <laughs> All right, and I turn the page. Oh, one of those mornings, eh, Beth? 536, 536, and if you could turn me down a little bit, brother, it's the yellow, the yellow. Turn me down some, turn me down some. 536, 536. My wife calling, probably asking, where are you? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> we're on, we're, <laughs> we're online, we're online, me about Amen, all right. Oh, man, okay, let's go ahead and get started. Amen, 536, he ransomed me. Let's all stand together, Amen. There's a sweet and blessed story of the Christ who came from glory just to rescue me from sin and misery. He in loving kindness sought me and from sin and shame has brought me. Hallelujah, Jesus ransomed me. Hallelujah, what a Savior who can take a poor lost sinner Lift him from the miry clay and set him free. I will ever tell the story, shouting glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah, Jesus ransomed me. From the depth of sin and sadness to the heights of joy and gladness, Jesus lifted me in mercy full and free. With his precious blood he bought me when I knew him not. He sought me and in love divine he ransomed me. Hallelujah, what a savior who can take a poor lost sinner. Lift him from the miry clay and set him free. I will ever tell the story shouting glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah, Jesus ransomed me. From the throne of heavenly glory, oh, the sweet and blessed story, Jesus came to lift the lost in sin and woe. Into liberty, all glorious trophies of his grace, victorious evermore rejoicing here below. Hallelujah, what a Savior who can take a poor lost sinner, lift him from the miry clay and set him free. I will ever tell the story shouting, glory, 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 hallelujah, Jesus ransomed me. Amen and amen. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father. Thank you for allowing us to be here. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your grace. Just Lord, thank you for giving us another year to serve you. Help us to always realize, as long as we are alive, that is your will and that is your plan. And you want us to continue serving you. May 2021 be a year uh, of victory, a year when we, no matter what happens in the world, we as Christians do what we're supposed to do. In Jesus' precious name, amen. And amen. Y'all may be seated. Y'all may be seated. Amen. All right. For those of you wondering on Facebook in Facebook land, uh, we just were running late. Amen. Had a little trouble getting it to connect and all that good stuff, but we are here. Besides, I just wanted to go ahead and lose high church of the year immediately. So I have all that pressure is now off of us. Amen. The pressure is gone, amen. <laughs> Started a little late, but uh, good to have everybody here this morning and uh, be in prayer. Uh, we do have some folks not feeling well in our church. Pray that God will lift them up and bring them back very soon. Um, and we're going to go into, uh, I, I thought, um, I'm, I'm, I, I thought we were going to start with, 
uh, our new series on Sunday School this week, and the Lord took me in a different direction. Yo pensaba que va a empezar con nuestra serie de Escuela Dominical, uh, pero Dios va a llevar en otra dirección en esta mañana. Um, God's given me the book we're going to study. Dios dio el libro que va a estudiar. Uh, but Lord willing, we will start that next Sunday. Si Dios quiere, va a empezar esto la, el domingo que viene. But God wanted me to teach something else this morning. Dios quisiera que enseñen otra cosa. Judges chapter 2 this morning. Jueces capítulo número 2. Judges chapter number 2. Jueces capítulo número 2. Judges chapter number 2. Judges chapter number 2. Amen. Judges chapter number 2. Judges chapter 2, verse number 7 to verse number 17. Jueces 2, 7 a 17. And the people served the Lord all the days of Joshua, and all the days of the elders that outlived Joshua, who had seen all the great works of the Lord that he did for Israel. And Joshua the son of Nun, the servant of the Lord, died, being a hundred and ten years old. And they buried him in the border of his inheritance uh, in, in timnath Hiris, in the Mount of Ephraim on the north side of the hill Gaish. And also all that generation were gathered unto their fathers. And there arose another generation after them, which knew not the Lord, nor yet the works which he had done for Israel. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord and served Balaam. And they forsook the Lord God of their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Egypt, and followed other gods, of the gods of the people that were round about them, and bowed themselves unto them, and provoked the Lord to anger. And they forsook the Lord, and served Baal and Ashtaroth. And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel, and he delivered them into the hands of spoilers that spoiled them, and he sold them into the hands of their enemies round about, so that they could not any longer stand before their enemies. Whithersoever they went out, the hand of the Lord was against them for evil. As the Lord had said, and as the Lord had sworn unto them, and they were greatly distressed. Nevertheless, the Lord raised up judges, which delivered them out of the hand of those that spoiled them. And yet they would not hearken unto their judges, but they went a-whoring after other gods, and bowed themselves unto them. They turned quickly out of the way which their fathers walked in, obeying the commandments of the Lord, but they did not so. As we look back not too far into our history, you see some tremendous generation of Christians. Como miren atrás en nuestra historia, no tan largo tiempo para atrás, miren unas generaciones grandes de cristianos. Um, the amazing mission work that was done. Uh, it, los grandes obras misioneros que hiciste, the churches that were built, las iglesias que eran construido, the ministries that reached masses of people, los ministerios que, que, que este, escogí las multitudes de personas, the revivals, los avivamientos. You don't have to go far back in our church history to see great generations of Christians. No necesitan ir para atrás muy lejos a mirar grandes generaciones de cristianos. I can think of men uh, in my youth that were tremendous men of God. Yo puedo pensar en hombres de mi juventud que eran, que eran hombres de Dios tremendos. But if you notice from this story, you can go very quickly from strong men of God to wickedness. And it can happen like that. Tú puedes pasar de hombres fuertes de Dios a maldad como así tan rápido. It didn't take them long. No tomé ellos mucho, este, mucho tiempo. I mean, it, you're talking about 
Joshua died at a ripe old age. Josué murió anciano. And it talks about here that, that it was the, it was the uh, uh, ancient generation that outlived him. Y, y estuvo hablando de los ancianos que vivió más tiempo que él. But if you think about it, they were an older generation as well. Era una generación anciano también. So I don't believe it was, you know, what, what are we talking? Maybe 10, 20 years after Joshua died that most of them were gone? ¿Qué está hablando? 10, 20 años después de Josué que ya murió, falleció todos. And, and they're, they're, it's an amazing thing. But in that short period of time, in este tiempo corto, they went from what they were saying in Joshua 24, which was, we will follow God with all of our heart. Fui de que estuvo diciendo en Josué 24, va a seguir a Dios con todo nuestro corazón to absolute wickedness, a maldad. So quickly, you go from Joshua, Josué, and by the way, the generation of Joshua was a great generation. La generación de Josué era una gran generación. Uh, remember, it was their parents that were the whiners and complainers that got left in the desert. Eran sus papás que eran los quejadores que dejó en el desierto. But that generation was willing to be different than their parents were. Esta generación era dispuesto a ser diferente de sus papás and to follow Joshua into the land of Canaan. A seguir a Josué a la tierra de promesa, Canaan. It was a great generation, un gran generación. Not a perfect generation. No era una generación perfecto. They did not remove the people that they should have removed. No quitó el, el, la, la gente que deben quitar. They had their moments of sin. Tuvo sus momentos de pecado. But it was a good generation. Era un gran generación. A generation that loved God and served God. Una generación que amó a Dios y sirvió a Dios. That saw God do marvelous things. Que miraba a Dios haciendo cosas maravillosas. And all it took was one generation. Más también una generación. One generation. And so let's take a look here. First of all, we've seen the progression. Joshua, the elders, the wicked generation. Miraba la progresión. Josué... Los ancianos en generación malo. And let's look at the problem. Vamos a mirar el problema. Look at verse number 7. Mira versículo 7. It says there in verse 7. Mira versículo 7. And the people served the Lord all the days of Joshua. Notice there. It doesn't say that they served Joshua. They says they served the Lord. Di cuenta ahí en versículo 7. No dicen que ellos servió a Josué. Ellos serví el Señor. So they weren't just following a man. Ellos no eran nomás siguiendo un hombre. They were serving the Lord. Tú were sirviendo al Señor. Did they follow Joshua? Absolutely. Siguió a Josué? Absolutamente. But they served the Lord. Pero serví el Señor. This was a generation that did it from the heart. Era una generación que hizo del corazón. But then look what happens. Miren qué pasa. All the days of Joshua and all the days of the elders that outlived Joshua, who had seen all the great works of the Lord that he did for Israel. This was a generation that saw God work. Era una generación que miraba a Dios trabajando. And look at verse number 10, meaning versículo 10. And also all that generation were gathered unto their fathers, and there arose another generation after them which knew not the Lord, nor yet the works which he had done for Israel. There was a generation that had to fight and battle for the Lord. Era una generación que necesitan batallar y luchar por el Señor. A generation that had to rely on the Lord. Una generación que necesitan a, a confiar en el Señor. 
They had to have confidence in him and trust him. Necesitan tener confianza y, y este, eh, 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 confianza en él. But then there came a generation that had it much easier. Llegó una generación que tuvo mucho más fácil. They didn't have to sacrifice as much. No necesitan sacrificar tanto. And, and sometimes we have wanted to keep our children from having to sacrifice. A veces que quieren guardar nuestros hijos de sacrificio. We want them to have everything they desire. Quieren que ellos tienen todo de sus deseos. We don't want, to, want them to go through the hard times. No quieren que pasen por los tiempos difíciles. We saw that in our nation. Miraba esto en nuestra nación. There was a nation, there was a generation that grew up in the depression and World War II. Era una generación que creció en la depresión y en guerra número dos. A strong nation, a, a strong generation. Una generación fuerte. Uh, I believe it was Walter Con, uh, uh, Walter uh, Concrite, uh, Cronkite. Cronkite. There we go. I got my R in the wrong place. Amen. Walter Cronkite called him the greatest generation. Walter Con, Cron, Con, ese hombre, uh, Walter Concrete, Cronkite, I keep putting the R at the end, uh, uh, llamó a la generación uh, 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 más fuerte, más grande de nuestra nación. They, and they were a tremendous generation. En una generación tremendo. They, they, they sacrificed and suffered, sacrificó y sufrió. Uh, they were willing to go and do the hard work. Era dispuestos a hacer la obra uh, 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 fuerte, duro. Uh, it's an amazing thing how we went from having, uh, I believe I was reading that we had, a, we had a, a, a military smaller than, I think it was Poland. Tenía un militar más, más chiquito que Polandia, and in four years it became the greatest military in the world. En cuatro años era el, el militar más grande en todo el mundo. Amazing. After having a large portion of our, our portion of our navy destroyed. Después de tener destruido un gran parte de nuestro naval, nuestros barcos de, 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 del naval. But out of that generation, de esta generación, there came several things. Salió varias cosas. First of all, they did not want their children to have it as hard as they did. Ellos no quisieran que sus hijos tenían el mismo duro como ellos. Uh, we also started to have the, the, the two-person working home as well. También empecé a tener el, el, el hogar de dos personas trabajando. And, but, but they, they raised up the generation that didn't want to have any hardness in their life. Presión generación que no quiso tener nada de durez en su vida. They didn't want to go to war. No quiso ir a la guerra. They wanted nothing but peace and love. No más quisiera el amor y paz. They didn't want to take a shower. No quisiera bañar. I mean, it was, it was a generation that was different from the one right before it. Una generación bien diferente que era antes de ellos. Sometimes we think that the easy road is the best road. A veces piensa que el, la, el camino más fácil es el mejor. But in reality, it is those tough times and that sacrifice that builds character and makes us have to depend upon God. Pero es este camino duro y de sacrificio que, que crezca nuestra integridad y forzar a nosotros a confiar en Dios, a tener confianza en Dios. So you had a generation that, that grew up in the desert. Tuvo una generación que creció en el desierto. And then in their adult life, they had to fight for the land of promise. Y en su vida de adulto, Necesitan luchar por la tierra de promesa, but all of a sudden peace came. Pero ya llegó el paz. And all of a sudden, their children 
uh, did not have to sacrifice like they had to sacrifice. Y a sus hijos no necesitan sacrificar como ellos sacrificó. They were able to move into homes that they had not built. Podía a, a, a vivir en casas que no construyó. They were able to reap harvest that they had not planted. Podía a, a, hacer cosecha de cosas que no semía, sembra, no sembrado. In Joshua 24:13, Josué 24:13, the Bible says this. La Biblia dice eso. And I have given you a land for which you did not labor, and cities which you built not, and you dwell in them. Of the vineyards and olive yards which you planted not, do ye eat. In many ways, the blessing of God became a curse to the next generation. En muchas maneras, el bendición de Dios era un maldición al siguiente generación. That generation that had to, I mean, there was a generation that had to depend on God to give them bread every morning. Era una generación que necesitan depender en Dios a dar pan cada mañana. They had to depend on God to make their clothes last. Necesitan depender en Dios que aguanten su ropa. They had to depend on a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night to know where to go. Necesitan depender en un un nube de, 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 de uh, pilar de nube en la, el día y pilar de fuego en la noche para saber dónde va a andar y dónde va a ser el siguiente lugar uh, de su viaje. They were a generation that had to lift up the sword and fight for what they were going to conquer. Era una generación que necesita levantar la espada para luchar para sus uh, uh, para sus victorias. But then life got easy. But después la vida puse fácil. Then all of a sudden they didn't have to worry from day to day or think about where their bread was going to come from. Ya no necesita pensar di diario que donde, donde viene, va a venir su pan. All of a sudden they had the things that they always dreamed of in the desert. Ya tenía las cosas de sus sueños en el desierto. And they got busy living life in this blessed land. Y puso ocupado viviendo su vida en esa tierra uh, bendecido. But what they were doing was raising children that didn't get to see all of that. Estuvo creciendo sus hijos que no miraba todo eso. Their children got to believing that's the way it always had been and that's the way it always should be. Sus hijos ya pensaban que esto era la manera que deben, era antes y como deben hacer por siempre. Could be that they got to thinking that they deserved what they had. Pueden ser que empiezan a pasar, pensar que ellos uh, 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 deben a recibir Todo que recibió. It's a lot of talk about the stimulus, right? Mucho, uh, uh, mucho habla de la, del, de, del cheque que va a recibir. And by the way, I'm going to be grateful for every dime of it. The voice va a ser agradecido por cada centavo. But you do realize we don't deserve it, right? It's not a right for us to get that, right? Ya de cuenta que no es un derecho a recibir, ¿verdad? And some people are going to be angry because it's not as much as they thought it was going to be. Va a ser gente enojado porque no va a ser tan grande como piensa. But we as Christians ought to be thankful that we get anything. Como cristianos deben tener gratitud que recibir cualquier cosa. But it... Life becomes easy. La vida empieza a ser fácil. We begin to think that life is supposed to be that way all the time. Empiezan a pensar que la vida debe ser como así. And we get busy with life. Empiezan a ocupar nuestras vidas con... Empiezan a ocupar 
con muchas cosas en nuestra vida. And what can happen is the parents remember all that God has done. Que pueden pasar, los papás recuerden todo lo que hizo Dios. But those children, but estos hijos, children have to be taught. Hijos necesitan ser enseñados. Children have to be shown. Necesitan enseñar los hijos. You remember what it was like before you got saved. Tú recuerdas cómo era antes de su salvación. You remember the trouble you were in. Tú re recuerdas el peligro uh, 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 en su vida. And you remember how far God brought you. Y tú recuerdas tan lejos que has tra uh, 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 traído uh, uh, Dios. Uh, 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 ¿Qué tan lejos has traído Dios a, a ti? You remember those things, but your kids grew up differently. Pero sus hijos creció diferente. They didn't grow up with hardship. No creció con cosas duros. They didn't grow up with sacrifice. No creció con sacrificio. But they also didn't grow up seeing the hand of God work either. Tampoco creció mirando el mano de Dios trabajando. Our children and our grandchildren need to see the power of God working in our life. Nuestros hijos y nietos necesitan mirar el poder de Dios trabajando en nuestra vida. We live in the United States of America. Viven en los Estados Unidos uh, de América. Where life is really easy. Donde la vida es fácil. As hard as we think we've had it during this virus, we've seen nothing like other countries. Tan duro como es con este virus, no has mirado nada como otras naciones. And I'm not making light of any family that's lost somebody and is suffering. Yo no está tomando ligero, ligero ningún familia que perdió a alguien uh, 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 y está sufriendo. That's not what I'm talking about. No estás hablando de esto. I'm talking about being taken care of physically. No estás hablando de, de cuidado físicamente. Life. There's a reason why people want to come to the United States. Hay una razón que la gente quiere venir a los Estados Unidos. Life is good. La vida es buena. There's a reason why they're, 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 they're trying to cross the border every day. Hay una razón que está tratando de cruzar la frontera, frontera cada día. There's a reason they're stowing away on ships. Hay una razón que está escondiendo en los barcos. Because this Land here has been blessed by God. That's right. Porque esta nación era bendecido de Dios. But what is a blessing for one generation can become a curse for the next generation. Pero que es una bendición por una generación puede ser una maldición por la siguiente generación. Because the generation that grew up when life was tougher la generación que creció con la vida era más difícil. They understand. And they saw the hand of God. Ellos entendí y miraba la mano de Dios. But the one that is just eating the fruit of that. De ahí que nomás estás comiendo la fruta de eso. They didn't see the hand of God doing that. Ellos no miraba la mano de Dios haciendo eso. And you have to teach them and show them. Y tú necesitas enseñar, uh, 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 y, y enseñar, uh, uh, instructir a ellos cómo es Dios. There was a reason why he wanted stones put in the river. Era la razón es que quieren las, las piedras ahí en el río. And he said, when you walk by with your children, you can tell them what happened. Cuando pasen con sus hijos, pueden decir... ¿Qué pasa? You don't think a big old th thing of stones in the middle of the river, you don't think kids are going to go, what's that? ¿Tú no piensas que si hay un gran cosa de piedras en el río que los hijos no van a decir, ¿qué es eso? There was a reason he wanted them to teach their children. 
Era razón que quisiera enseñar a sus hijos. Your children need to hear about the power of God working in your life. Right. Sus hijos y nietos necesitan escuchar el poder de Dios, del poder de Dios trabajando en nuestra vida. If all you do is talk about how bad 2020 was. Si todo lo que tú haces es hablar que ten, que tan mal es 20, era 2020. Your kids went through one of the strangest times of their life. Your kids and grandkids. Sus hijos y sus nietos pasó por uno de los tiempos más extraño en su vida. And if all we do is complain about how bad it was, si no más quejan de que tan mal era 2020, what are they going to think of our God? ¿Qué va a pensar de nuestro Dios? Look, we, we joke about being glad it's gone, amen? Broman, broman que, que ya está, tiene gratitud que ya pasó el año. We, we joke about those things. Bromea de estas cosas. But the truth is, I can look back in 2020 and I can see the hand of God. La verdad es que en 2020 yo puedo mirar en mano de Dios. I can see the protection of God. Puedo mirar la protección de Dios. The provision of God. La provisión de Dios. The purpose of God. El propósito de Dios. I need to write those down. Those are three points. That's a good message right there. Amen. Protection, provision, and what was the third one I said? See, I needed to write it down. Amen. The purpose. Amen. But I can see that. Yo puedo mirar eso. Talk about that. My wife and I have talked about that. Mi esposo y yo hablan de eso. We talked about it with Jonathan. Hablé de eso con Jonathan. We, God has allowed us uh, to see his hand work. Dios dejó a nosotros a mirar en mano de Dios. If we don't teach our children and our grandchildren. Si no enseñan nuestros hijos y nietos. We're one generation. Una generación. We're already seeing it. Ya está mirando. I mean, we're at, we're at a very thin line with this generation. Están un año finito con esta generación. What's sad to me is God quieted Christian families down for several months. Que es triste para mí es que Dios puso quieto las familias cristianos por varios meses. And I'm wondering how many of them took that time to teach their children about God. ¿Y cuántas familias tomé ese tiempo a enseñar sus hijos de Dios? Or did we just sit around and complain because they were at home? No más quejó porque ellos eran en casa. We've heard a lot of that, haven't we? Oh, I just can't wait till the kids are back in school. Ay, no pueden esperar hasta que los hijos están en la escuela. They're driving me crazy. Está poniendo de locura. And they do sometimes. Si ponen de locura. But it was also a time when God put a, a world that was so busy, quiet. Un tiempo que Dios puso un mundo tan ocupado, quieto. And I wonder how many Christian families took advantage of it. ¿Cuántos familias cristianos usó este tiempo a enseñar sus hijos? They need to see the hand of God. Necesitan mirar el mano de Dios. They need to know that God is still working in this day. Necesitas saber que Dios todavía está trabajando en ese día. They need to see God working through your giving. Necesitas mirar a Dios trabajando en, 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 en dar, en your serving, en su servicio, en your sacrifice, en su sacrificio, en your faith, en su fe. This generation rose up and they did not know God 
and they did not know the power of God. Esta generación creció y no conoció a Dios ni su poder. And how sad for a generation to, re, to, to grow up with good Christian people, but somehow not know God. Qué triste para hijos a crecer con buenos cristianos y de una manera u otra no conocer a Dios. I've seen it with Christians. Has mirado con los cristianos. We don't spend time teaching our children about God. No tomen el tiempo enseñando nuestros hijos a Dios. This world has taught you that it's everybody else's responsibility to teach your children. Ese mundo enseñé que es el responsabilidad de todos los demás a enseñar sus hijos. We depend completely on the school system to teach our children. Depende completamente en, en, la, en, uh, en el sistema de la escuela para enseñar nuestros hijos. And that's carried over to where now we expect the church to do all the teaching of our children. Ya tiene expectación que la iglesia va a hacer todo la enseñanza de nuestros hijos. First of all, we're only with your children a couple times a week. Primeramente, no más está con los hijos uno o dos veces por semana. For another thing, there came a point when your kids couldn't even come to church. Era un punto que tus hijos ni podían venir a la iglesia. So who needed to be teaching them? ¿Quién necesita enseñar? The parents and the grandparents. Los papás y los abuelitos. Somehow they went from a great generation. De una manera u otra pasó de una gran generación. They went from a generation that grew up in the desert and fought to capture the land of Canaan. Fue de una generación que creció en el desierto y batalló a ganar victoria en Canaán. To the very next generation did not know God or his power. La siguiente generación no conoció a Dios ni su poder. That quick. Who didn't teach him? ¿Quién no enseñaba? Who didn't show him the power of God? ¿Quién no enseñaba el poder de Dios? It doesn't make an excuse. They still had a choice to do what's right. No es una excusa por ellos. Ellos también necesitan tomar la decisión. But it also was the fault of a generation who were busy in the work of the Lord, but were not raising that next generation to know him and his power. Right. Pero también era la culpa de una generación que era ocupado sirviendo a Dios pero no tomé el tiempo para enseñar a sus hijos y el siguiente generación. Christian parent, papá cristiano, Christian grandparent, abuelito cristiano. No matter how old your grandkids are, your kids are, start teaching them. No importa qué tan grandes son sus hijos y sus nietos, enséñalos. Show them the power of God. Enseñen el poder de Dios. Help them get to know God. Ayuden a conocer a Dios. The church will be a help. La iglesia va a ser una ayuda. But the responsibility is in our hands. Right. Pero responsabilidad es en nuestras manos. I didn't get to all my notes. We'll see if he takes me to the rest next week or not. We'll see. Heavenly Father, thank you for this time together. Thank you for allowing us to meet. I pray that you just guide and direct in a tremendous way. Lord, how we need to be careful and work with that next generation. In Jesus' precious name, amen and amen. We'll be back at 11, amen.